Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Freko and today we will be summoning on the Summer Vacation Banner for Summer Claude. And I just can't wait so we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna try to get him to plus 10, of course. Um, I will also be pulling for the other lords. So, I'm gonna just pull on red and green and blue until I have two copies of Dimitri, since I want to give Claude a uh, speed defense menace and uh, one copy of Edelgard. So. The reason I want to give him menace is because I want to give him ruptured sky. I know that it's uh, really exciting to give him maybe lethality, but lethality I think works best with infantry units that are able to pull it off. Flying and cavalry dagger units um, probably aren't the best users of lethality. Um, however, I'm still gonna give it to him <laughs> just for fun. I mean, I don't have anyone else that would that I would rather give it to, and I do have one copy of I think his name is Volk. But yes, the build that I'm hoping to give him is ruptured sky. Uh. Speed Defense Menace and a catch, spe attack speed catch. Four. And, oh, continue summoning, yes. And luckily I've been, um, I've pulled so many skills that I can use for him. I have the dual skill, the flying dual skill. I have the other menace skills that I could give him as well. So, uh, he has plenty of toys to play with once he comes home and I have plenty of feathers <laughs> oh and I have so many orbs so this session right now um, we started with 1130 orbs if I'm not mistaken and the reason I was able to save up so many orbs is simply because I've been kind of quite busy and I don't have time to play aether raids or uh, what is it? Summoner duels? Oh. We got Shannon. Or Shannon. I already have him, but... Uh, his spotter's pretty good. What is it? Uh, stand skill, right? Yeah, steady posture 3. Cool. Alright. Let's keep on going. So aside from Claude, I also want... Oh, I already said I want the other lords. Um, Makaya I'm not too wild about. I never played the Radiant Dawn or Path of Radiance games. So I'm not super crazy about her though. She's arguably the best unit on this banner. Being 3 movement, uh, having a brave tone that's effective against cabs and armors, that's pretty busted. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go for the three lords. Now, there's something to say about Claude's art. I definitely hope that it would be more mature looking. If you look at Edelgard and Dimitri's art, they look like the same age as in the game. But for some reason, Claude seems to look younger than he does in the game. Now here's hoping that his next alt is a post time skip or even the three hopes post time skip version that would be pretty cool. Speaking of three hopes I am already finished with all of the demo all three routes and I gotta say I'm so psyched I'm so excited for the game to be released in full but even this demo it's a pretty chunky demo there's so much to do and just the demo itself it feels kind of like an early release of the game more than just the demo and I'm very happy with it and I must say that it definitely gives me a greater appreciation for Edelgard I think the demo the story in the demo gives more opportunity to see her more sympathetic side 
um, she was able, oh, this is kind of a spoiler. Well, it's for the demo. I, I don't know what happens later on in the game. And based on the trailers, you should know that Monica is playable. But the way you get Monica, like I was happy to see that Edelgard was willing to do that. And I think it's uh, pretty interesting that Monica is so smitten with her. Like she's really into Edelgard. <laughs> Looks like Hubert has some competition. But speaking of the art style, I am blown away with how quick and how talented people are on on Twitter. Like there's so many, there's so much summer plot art and it's so good. I'd say sometimes like it's even better than the one we got in the game. It really is. It's, 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 there's so many different versions of it and all the detail that goes into it. I just, oh yes. I guess we have to praise Claude to get him to show up, huh? Let's see. What are your IVs? Plus speed! We got their perfect IV. Heroes around here getting a little rowdy. I'll let them know we're aiming for a more laid-back vibe. Hmm. Nice, but yeah, you see, like, uh, I don't know, I even feel like he even looks a little shorter. But I still really enjoy this art, and I love his outfit, and I want to get some yellow-tinted sunglasses now. <laughs> Awesome, one down, ten more to go. And for the spark, I'm thinking I'm gonna spark green. Maybe I should spark red, I don't know. We'll see how, how we do from now until the 40th pull. But yes, people are so talented on, on Twitter. Now, the reason I was able to rack up so many orbs as I was saying is because I don't have time to play like Aether Raids and Summoner Duels. The thing that really burnt me out and made me completely give up on continuing to pursue Aether Raids and Summoner Duels is how long it took me to get through Summoner Duels. I think it's R. I don't remember the one that you only, you can only lose twice, I think two or three times and it was very time consuming and that was kind of like a wake-up call of wow this game is very time consuming on these competitive modes and they don't even grant you orbs like aether raids one match easily 20 minutes like 20 minutes out of your day to play aether raids almost every day not to mention all the other game modes and so that's how I, that's why, that's what made me want to drop Aether Raids and Summoner Duels. And I just barely play Arena. Like, I only make it enough to, like, if I get knocked out, that's fine. I don't sweat it. Like, I just keep on going. And so that way, I don't feel so stressed about getting, like, a really good team comp or getting the most recent Mythic or a bonus unit, which is usually mythic or legendary. Like, I just... Yes! Awesome! I just pull from my favorites, and... Um, there haven't been very many. Ooh, a plus attack. Ooh, and we have fruit! God, your hands are so cold! Were you holding a drink or something? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, ever since Duo Chrome, there hasn't been another unit that really struck my fancy, so I've been able to just save. That's like what, February, March, April, May, and half of June? It's like three and a half months of saving orbs. Yeah. So, and this is so very rewarding because. I want almost every unit on this banner, so I can just pull to my heart's content. And we still haven't gotten... Oh yeah, we've gotten a Shannon, but... Let's see. What's our appearance rate? 3.75, it's not that high. Maybe once we get to 4. So we got 2 clods, 9 more to go.
Ferdinand von Eyre. Oh. Ah, <sighs> Billy. Truly is sad. Anyway, I don't want to talk about anything sad. Let's move on. So, uh, yeah, just if you want to save orbs, just do something else. Do not play summoner duels. Do not play the raids. Don't stress about getting. Don't stress about winning, and just play with your favorites. And that's truly like the most fun way to play. Like just play the the modes that grant you orbs, and all those modes are a lot easier. Like Tempest Trials. Um, what's the really cute one? The one where it, with the little mini clips. Ah, uh, Hero Journeys. I love that game mode. It's so easy, very chill, but it's very cute, and it grants you orbs every day. Pawns of Loki. I love Pawns of Loki. Um, yeah. Basically all of those. Um, I know I'm missing a few, but... All the very simple game modes that grant you orbs that are a lot easier. Those are the only ones I play, to be honest. Oh, and I really do enjoy Resonant Battles. It's only one map a week, so <laughs> that's doable. And uh, it makes you make team comps of uh, certain games, and I think that's really cool. Yes! Awesome! Ooh, I really should be making a tally. I think this is the third one. If I'm not mistaken. Plus speed again. Let's see, what do you say? Nothing's better than a tropical island vacation. Nice. Nothing is better than a tropical island vacation. So yeah, that's the secret to saving orbs. Just don't play any of those really challenging game modes and take a break from them. They're very time consuming. Play a different game. Three hopes is um, around the corner. So play that instead of Aether Raids. I don't know. I know I, it's weird. Don't play this game while I'm summoning on this game. Let's see, really quick. How many quads do we have? I think it's three. And now we're about to break below a thousand. But that's okay. So three clods down, eight more to go, eight. yes, eight more clods. Yes, I am absolutely loving the um, Edelgard's route in New Hopes. And actually Demetrius' route is so far my least pay. Oh, Priam. I've never pulled you before, I don't think. What does he have? Any good fodder? Plus speed, minus attack. What does he have? Attack defense ideal. No follow up. And rouse. Speed defense 4. Okay. It's all good. Let's see, will this be Dimitri? Really hoping I get Dimitri. So the reason I want Speed Defense Menace for Claude and not Attack Speed or Attack Defense Menace is because with Ruptured Sky, Ruptured Sky skills off of your enemy's attack and it doesn't make sense to debuff your enemy's attack if you're using Ruptured Sky. So I've gotten Priam and Shannon and that could have been two Edelgards. So once I get one Edelgard, I'm going to stop pulling red. Ooh, that's four clods. I'm Claude of the Lester Alliance. You're planning a trip to the beach, right? Perfect. Count me in. Of course. I'm planning a big party on the beach after the sun goes down. Invite any heroes you know. Nice. I would totally be so down to go. And look, we're getting just plus speed, plus speed, plus speed. And we have fruit, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them attack and speed. Uh, both of those. <laughs> but yes, with Ruptured Sky, it scales off of your enemy's attack, so... Oh look, it's a... Tana? Yes. Okay, already have you. Almost at the spark. 
definitely sparking for Dimitri. So I can get that C skill. And he comes with a catch skill as well, I think. So that's perfect. Wait, is speed defense... Is speed defense... Uh, threatened speed defense in the... What's it called? Is it available at... 4 star? Like, from someone? I wonder. Alright, after this, it's spark time. Let's see... What we get here... Another claw, yes! Five. Oh my gosh, this is going by so quick. We only have six more cloths to go. I'm gonna go find a nice shady place to nap. Hmm. Oh, I could go for a nap. Oh. Though, honestly, I, I knew I wouldn't have been able to sleep. I could barely sleep last night. I was so... And the night before. I was so excited. And the night before, ever since the silhouette. <laughs> I just can't... I couldn't stop thinking about this banner. Like... Ooh, I wonder what Claude's gonna be like. And then once we got the reveal, like, ooh, what builds am I gonna give him? Okay, let's see, we get Edelgard here. And so right now it's literally just minutes after this banner is released. I just couldn't wait. Couldn't wait, and um, I haven't done a video in a while. Honestly, I haven't had very much interest in this game. Um, outside of just playing it every once in a while, getting all my daily orbs in. No Edelgard. Hmm. Okay, wait, did I? Yes, I did. Alright, time to spark. Let's get that Dimitri. Yes, Dimitri's looking good in this art. Though, it does bother me a little bit that they decided to call Ariadbar an axe when it isn't. <laughs> it's clearly, clearly the same weapon, but they just pasted some starfish on it. I'm Dimitri of the Blue Lion House. Even if it is only as practice, I'll give, it, I'll give my all to swimming around the island. Ooh, I forgot about the Celestial Stone. I wonder how many I have. Alright, so... Now we're well below a thousand, but we already have five clods. We only have six more to go. So let's keep them coming. No clods here. Let's see if Edelgard finally shows up. I'm surprised Altina got yet another alt. <laughs> and I don't know, It's it feels kind of unlikely that Edelgard would be paired up with her. Uh, seeing as how Edelgard doesn't... I mean, she believes in that the gods exist. But I remember one of my favorite lines in Crimson Flowers when she said that something along the lines of who needs gods if uh, humanity can, you know, stand together and make things work? Some, I mean, I'm kind of butchering what she said. <laughs> but uh, she said something quite profound, and it's along the lines of, we don't need gods. However, Altina is, is a god, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I wonder what made them decide to put them together into a harmonized unit. I was thinking she would be paired up with someone like Arvis. Something like that. Uh-oh. They're gonna give us Micaiah. <laughs> it's gonna be Micaiah, and I know it. Anytime it happens, it gives me the unit. Oh, smoke. Oh, no, it's not Micaiah. Far from it. <laughs> Good. So we can continue to make our appearance rate go up, I think. What is it? It is four. Good. It's 
basically like the same mods as a legendary banner. Come on, Clyde. Six more quads, and I am done with the banner? Oh, I still want Dimitri and Edelgard. One copy of each. <laughs> yes. With summer, what are some of your favorite summer activities? To be frank, I... Ooh! <laughs> Did someone say summer? Six. Claude's five more to go. And just... Whoo! Alright, come on, Dimitri. Happen. Smoke. Here it comes. Is it? No, it's Balthus, which I already have at plus 10. It's one of my favorite projects. It was kind of a painless thing to happen to get Balthus at plus 10. Give him that axe. Plagian axe. Um. Complete solo build. Um, Rouse. Solo four. No, I give him a stance skill, I think. Anyway. Yes. I'm not very much uh, of a beach person, but I very much enjoy going to the pool. I think it's just the sand that I can't, like, completely enjoy all the time. And also, the, the water is salty. I do enjoy myself a salt water pool but the salt is a lot less than it is in a you know the beach there's also a lot less danger in the pool like you can get jellyfish uh jellyfish sting i don't know i'm kind of paranoid about that stuff and i'm also not the best swimmer so <laughs> i face a lot less danger in the pool <laughs> it's a lot less risky Yes, I do enjoy summer, except here in South Texas, sometimes it gets way too hot. Sometimes it's nice. Is this Dimitri? No. Gosh. I'm surprised I haven't got any 5-star focus units from this banner. What is it now? 425? Okay. Not getting very many reds. That's fine. And I do think that idle guards. Um, oh. Oh, I did say the I had fruits, but I, what I meant to say is I had these um, ascended florets. Wow. Okay. Cool. Didn't expect that. But now I can give Claude a floret and not feel bad about using a floret and actually how many florets so I, I think that's my third floret now I have three so I will definitely give him a floret and she totally broke my appearance rate so let's hope Dimitri's here so I can stop pulling on the greens so close to plus sending this character. I think this is plus nine. I'm at plus nine flying Nino. Alright. Gosh. I'm back at 3.5. Oh, since she was off focus, it doesn't go all the way back to three. That's pretty sweet. Let's 
So, this month is Pride Month. Cannot escape it. <laughs> and I am super thrilled that it's kind of a funny coincidence. I know, like, I just already talked about her like 10 minutes ago. But, um, like, Monica is kind of. I don't know, is it safe to say that she has a thing for Edelgard, or is it kind of like only implied or loosely implied? I think it's kind of straightforward. Like she got her cake and, and stuff, I don't know. If you haven't seen Monica talk about Edelgard, um, oh it's probably because you don't have, you haven't played the Edelgard's route, but please do. <laughs> It's so funny, of course, we would have never guessed because we never really got to meet Monica at all in Three Houses. Like, it was never really Monica. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of funny that it happened during this month. Do you have any events? I mean, any plans for Pride Month? I would... You'd think that I would, but I actually don't. I don't usually partake in any events. It's very rare. I tend to be kind of paranoid with, unfortunately, kind of paranoid with like something awful happening at one of those events. Like some sort of hate crime. I don't know. I know it's kind of sad. It's kind of, it's, it's just, it happens in this country sometimes, and it's... I just feel like I don't... Like, it, it, I should have the opposite feeling, right? Like, if, if I'm at this event, I should feel like, yes, this is, this is who I am, I'm, you know, celebrating my identity. But I, I don't know how I feel about doing that in a big public space. I just feel kind of nervous about something happening. Like, I recently heard about this group of people that were dressing up as, like, I hear they were clowns, or I don't know, maybe, like, they had masks. Like, these white masks, and they were gonna raid a parade. And stuff like that, right, really creeps me out, makes me not want to do anything like that. But, if it's, like, a small gathering, like, the friends, like, a small part, pride-themed party, like, yay, like, we're gonna make rainbow drinks, we're gonna dress up with matching rainbow things and we're all gonna in a circle we're gonna talk about how we came out like that sounds like a good time to me and it's like risk-free and it's still a celebration of who I who I who we are but yes but whatever you may do if you are celebrating pride I wish you the oh okay I'll be right back. So, as I well, what's the appearance rate? Four. Okay. As I was saying, whatever celebration you may partake in, I wish you the best time, and I hope that everything goes well, and that you just have a blast. You do you, enjoy yourself, and and don't let anyone shame you for who you are. Yes. Ooh, I forget Lucas got a resplendent. Ugh, hold up. Sharp soldier Lucas. Come on, let this please. Now I'm uh look, okay, so typically in summoning videos, by this time I'm already begging. But now I'm finally begging, please, uh, game, give me Edelgard or Dimitri, please. Edelgard, nope, not a chance. Hinata. Needs a resplendent. I wonder who our next resplendent is going to be. I know they've already announced, um, what's his name, Matthew? 
but I wonder who it will be after that. The one, the my top three most wanted list are Melkorin, Hinata, and Ira. I think Ira would be awesome as a resplendent unit. Mm -hmm. And as for refines, who needs a refine? I mean, some characters need re-refines, to be honest. I'm waiting on... Well, actually, the three lords. Minus Edelgard, her weapon is still pretty good. But Claude and Dimitri, they need refines already. And ooh, I'm super pumped for... The Brave Refines coming in in a few months. It's happening. Maybe Brave Cloud will be viable again. I mean, not that it matters. I don't play Aether Raids anymore. And with oops, with PvE maps, he's, um, he's doing great. Yes. Huh, it's been a while since we've gotten another Cloud. Look, this is a good circle. 4.25%. This has got to be Edelgard. Right here, I'm calling it. It's Edelgar. Yep, the smoke. Come on. No, it's Ray. <laughs> uh. Come on, Katie. Or L. No. see if this is Dimitri. Please. Please be Dimitri so I don't feel bad about foddering you off for your C skill. Ah, oh, not Dimitri. Bowie. Okay. This one's gotta be Dimitri. If not, this is a pretty bad circle. Three three stars? Oh, four three stars? That's bad. Worst circle ever! Let's see. Yeah, four three stars, that's pretty bad. 4.5%. Let's go. Dimitri and Edelgard. Oh, or just Dimitri. Two four star clods and two Dimitris. Uh, come on, I need five more clods. Five more. not getting any five stars. <sighs> I'm gonna go find a nice shady place to nap. I can't complain, we got Ishtar. <clears throat> that comes with a friggin' floret. It's pretty sweet. Good deal. I think Ithune is also blue. So there's an off chance that we may all, we may get the other another um, resplendent ascended ascended hero, which I oh there plus ten Nino, wow I completed my Nino, that wasn't even the that wasn't a goal but it happened oh I got plus ten Nino. What are we at? 5% yet? 4.75. Okay. 4.75%. 8, 9, 10, 11. We need four more clocks. Come on, let this be another one. Oh, that's Roche. That's fine. It's okay. Maybe this one will be it. How many orbs have I spent? Like 200 some? Almost 300. Florina. Her ascended version is actually pretty cool. I, I enjoy the whole warping shenanigans that you can do with her. 
Edelgard? Is it? No. Hmm. That's okay, let's just keep on ramping up our appearance rate. Is it a 5 yet? Oops, wrong button. Yes, a 5%. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Let's be Edelgard. Or not, and give me a better circle. Draug. Okay. Thanks. Now let's get another Claude, please. I wish they showed us the 4-star focus rate at the bottom of the screen, just like they do the 5-star focus rates and non-focus rates. Yes! 9, 10, 11, 3 more! Yes, King! I'm planning a big party on the beach after the sun goes down. Invite any heroes you know. Woo! And our appearance rate did not go down. All right, this is a good circle. Start with red. It's Edelgard's the only one we're missing, though I still want another copy of Dimitri. Come on, Edelgard. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Is it the first time I... No, it's not the first time. What does she come with? Come with a dual skill? Oh, the speed bond before. Well, well, that's okay. It doesn't completely break our appearance rate, so that's fine. Let's see if this is Dimitri. A smoke, okay. Not Dimitri. Still got abs, though. <laughs> oh, Hawkeye could use a resplendent. Are these two clods? Come on, smoke. Four star clod, four star clod. No, but we also got abs. <laughs> Odin. Not even a resplendent is enough to save this man from his abysmal attack stat. I don't know, like, even if you put, like, the best skills on him, it's still kind of... He's still kind of weak. Lorena, girl, your skirt's ripped. It has holes in it. Let's see how much our appearance rate dropped. 4.25, not too bad. It's still above 4, so that's pretty good. Alright, come on. Edelgard. What's interesting is how, you know, Edelgard is red. Reminds me of Crimson Flower, but um, Dimitri and Claude are kind of swapped in colors. But that's fine because um, there's too many blue Dimitris. <laughs> so I guess it's it's kind of passable that they decided to make their his Arid Bar an axe, even though it clearly is not an axe. Who's that? Oh, it's uh, the little girl from see, uh, yeah, Dothia, the one that got possessed. <laughs> She has a uh, drive attack on her C skill, so that's something. Mm. Okay. Alright, come on game. Stop making me beg for Edelgard and Dimitri. Ooh, maybe Edelgard will be in one of those red ones. Silas! I haven't seen Silas in a while. I have a plus 10 Silas. They really did him dirty with his weapon refine. He's good for arena assault, but I never play that mode. Like, it just gets you what feathers and do. Does it ever grant orbs? I think sometimes it does. But yeah. I had high hopes for his refine, but it's just kind of bad. 
just doesn't... It's very niche. Who's that? Oh. I forgot she was in the game. The circle's pretty bad. Come on, it'll go. It's gonna be, right? It's got to be. No, it's dead again. Ah! Oh man, this is getting a little exhausting. Just a little bit. Alright. Two clouds right here. Come on, bring it on. Two clouds. It's gonna happen. Calling it. No, who is that? K Karen. Karen. Hi there, I'm Karen of Salise. I may not be the most seasoned fighter, but I won't disappoint you. I, you are, oh, I hadn't had her before. Well, I'm disappointed because you're not Claude. Oh. Yeah. That's not Claude either. Gosh, so many Florinas in this session. Yeah. Let's see. Edelgard, it's gotta be, right? Selena, who could, I guess, also use a Resplendent. So many units can use a Resplendent. So many. I think they should start giving... Ooh, a full circle. Let's see if one of these is Dimitri. They really need to start giving out, like, a Resplendent every week. Instead of only two of them a month, like, there's just no way they can catch up with only two resplendents of, of a month. Let's see, once I go below 500, I'm gonna get a little nervous. <laughs> ah, it's Sheena. Another huge silhouette. I'm going down the circle. Come on, Claude. Three more. It's definitely not Claude. Dimitri. No. I forgot she was in the game too. Those fingers though. <laughs> and if this is an Edelgard, the circle is just bad. And I'm well on my way to a 5% appearance rate again. Oh? No. Stop. Oof. Okay, this banner's a lot more rough. Oof! Than I expected. Be back. Okay, this banner is a lot more rough. Oof! Than I expected. Be back. Alright, we're back. 5%, is that? Yep. Let's pull reds first. Oh, I wanted to be Edelgard so I can just stop pulling reds. Just focus on greens and blues. 
think I've been at it for like 40 minutes already. Holy moly. It's gonna be a long one. You know, I think I'm just gonna cut it short. Because nobody wants to just watch some guy just pull on this banner for an hour. Mm -mm. Let's see, two clocks right here. Yes! Alright, another 4 star. I got the feathers. No rush into getting here as a 5 star. I'm good. Everything's great. Now I just need two more. It's within reach. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! What are your IVs? No, of course it is. Oh, man. That's okay. I got fruits. Let's see if this one is also one. Maybe I can just, like, emerge or something? Nah, that's fine. One is better than none, and I got a ton of fruits, so I'm going to feed her a fruit and make her plus attack or something. Alright, so now we can let go of reds and just focus on blues and greens. <laughs> I guess let's pull this one and then pop, like, get out of there. Morgan, lad from afar. Okay, now it's time for just blues and greens. Come on, two more Claude's and one Dimitri. That's the goal. Oh, rough. Wrath. All right, come on, another Claude right here. And then after that, I will need one more. Yes! Come on. Four star Claude. Nope, you're not Claude. To be honest, I'm just... Like right now, I'm at what? Plus eight? I'm so excited to just like... Merge them up and... And use them already. Like I'm so... Like I can't wait to play. I can't wait to play as a summer quad. Oh, not it. Okay. I already have a plus 10 Zenith, actually. And he's great. He's such a good buff bot. Like, uh, he has drive in his lance. And, uh, yeah, just give him more drive skills and he drives you. Give me a good circle with nothing but greens and blues. Oof. Okay. Smoke? No smoke. Dimitri right here. No. Stomach ache. All right, we're about to break below 600. Though I am considering just like 
If I get the Clods, I'm not going for Dimitri for a while. Who is that? Oh, she's the one with that lance. Okay. There's so many flying lance girls on a Pegasus. It's hard to keep up with, with them. So many of them with green and blue hair, and then when there's a- Ooh! Awesome! Now I just need one more! One more! And I just realized his fingernails. Nice touch. The art artist. And I've been getting a lot of plus speed. Okay. Got one claw to go. And we're hoping to get Dimitri. If they happen in the same circle- Ooh, it looks like- Maybe this is where our last clot is going to be. Will it? Is it right here? Plus 10 clot? Yes! <gasps> it happened! Oh my god. Yes. Okay, now I'm kind of... <clears throat> so do I continue pulling on blues? Or do you have a plus 10? I think I'm just gonna look, you know. I'm gonna try pulling for Dimitri until I have 550 orbs. Maybe this will be it. 3.5, it's not too low, right? Maybe he's right here? No. Balthus, okay. 3.5. Is it still 3.5? Come on, be right there. This has got to be it, right? No. Oh. You know, this is a lot less fun when you're color sniping. Because you just feel your orbs slipping through your fingers. Yes, two greens. Come on. Let this be it. I absolutely love how Claude didn't uh, break my pity rate at all. Just a bunch of four stars. And I sure have the feathers for it. It's not gonna hurt one bit to spend all those feathers. Not one bit. Oof. Arthur. Gotta be this one. 3.75? Come on, bring it. Oh, man. Soren. Bye, Soren. Soren could also use a resplendent. I mean, I don't know if that's enough to make him good, but let's see, and I'm only gonna pull reds now. Reds and greens. Hana, I haven't seen her in a while. Again, she could also use a Resplendent. So many units. And also, where's Resplendent? Resplendent Innis. Where's my Resplendent Innis? I want Resplendent Innis. We look really good in Nithavalir or... Um, what is that? Uh, shoot. Embla. would look good in those. Come on. It's this one. Oh my god. I forgot. <laughs> she was a four star special. What? Oh man. Okay. Alright, what's my appearance rate? Okay, this is going to be the last one, I think. Or, I just want to break my appearance rate, to be honest. Come on. Let it be... Let it be him. 